Thielen Insider. We are at Ayala High School in Chino Hills for a big soccer match between the Ayala Bulldogs and the St. Lucie's Regents. These two teams both have three losses, which would put them into a tie for third place with South Hills, who lost last night against Claremont. The winner of this game is going to be tied for second place at 4-3 and three if it's Ayala, 3-3-1 three, three and one if it ends up being St. Lucie's. We'll bring you highlights. We'll bring you interviews right after the match. With the Sierra League playoff picture becoming more and more cloudy, four teams with three losses entering tonight. One of these teams has a chance to go into second place. The other one possibly looking at a wild card. St. Lucie's would take it to Ayala, play them tough, and have the first chance on goal in the beginning of the game. They're going to work this around. It comes out to number 10, Julia Bingham, who had a pretty good game tonight. This cross cannot find Maddie Bloom. Holly Abdelekadar playing this in. Maddie Bloom once again not able to get it. Rachel Schellen, the freshman goalkeeper for Ayala, would be playing tough. And the game would be scoreless into the 39th minute when Allie Westrup is going to take this give and go from Lexi Baker and put it far post for a 1-0 Ayala lead. You can see this in slow motion. She beats the defender and just slides it by Aaron Beach, giving Ayala the one nothing lead going into the half. St. Lucie's would keep on pressing even after that goal. Abdelakar once again bringing it down the left hand side. She plays it over to Lisa Lester and the ball just goes by the goal. Second half action. Give and go. This played across by Amanda Carrillo Perez. Nobody home for Ayala. It's still 1 0. Free kick by Jenna Muse. It's flicked on. Saved by the goalie. No call there at the end. And St. Lucie's would have to go to the attack. Julia Bingham once again. She gets a real good shot here. It's deflected to an Ayala defender. She gets it once again, but there is Rachel Schellen once again. Bingham. Having her way down the right-hand side all day long. This one saved by Schellen once again. See another angle of it. Just couldn't get it over the top of the goalie. You can tell her frustration was growing. Schellen once again takes it down the side. Crosses it, Maddie Bloom gets a whack at it, misses it the first time, goes down the defender, knocks it away. You could see it on the reverse angle. There's the shot right there blocked. She can't get it forward. Still 1-0. Great chance. Coming across Maddie Bloom, unfortunately, hits the right post. She was wide open. You could see it once again. That was it. St. Lucie's couldn't get the equalizer. They go down 1-0. They fall to 2-4-1 in league. While Ayala goes to 4-3. and three. Ayala gets a 1-0 victory tonight over St. Lucie's here at their home field in Chino Hills. We talked to their victorious head coach, Matt Hunt. You uh, talk about your girls' performance tonight. It's a one nothing victory over St. Lucie's. Yeah, our performance tonight uh, wasn't the best. You know, I think that we, uh, our team's kind of developing a personality where sometimes we have to grind some wins out. And, uh, you know, we didn't present the best soccer today, um, you know, like the past games, but we found a way to get a victory. So you, know, you know, coach, you get a victory over Claremont and now a victory tonight, and you find yourself all of a sudden Tied with Claremont for second place. Talk about how that changes real quick in the Sierra changes, League. Changes a lot of things. You know, I, I think that, uh, you know, 
a lot of people didn't know what to expect from this group in my first year here, and uh, you know they step up to the challenge. Um, we talk about every week where we're at and what we need to do to put ourselves in the right position. And uh, you know, at the end of the day, they, they came together and they battled a lot, and uh, they're right where they belong. So now you're in the position with your rival game this Friday. You get Chino Hills. You win that game, and all of a sudden you're only two games out of first place. Talk about that that game coming up. I think up. it's obviously a big time rival between us two. Um, they got us first at home and obviously took care of business there. So this next game is very important to us. Um, it's a big time rivalry. They came on our field and they they were the better team last time. So I expect to see a very good game on Friday. Well, congratulations and good luck going forward. Tough loss for St. Lucie's tonight. We talked to their head coach Daniel Graff. You guys had your chances, especially at the end. Talk about your girls' performance tonight. Um, you know, I thought the girls played pretty well. We prepared for. We've been working on trying to keep the ball a little bit more, and I thought we did a great job of it. Um, you know, uh, I always a good team, and they countered us on a goal. But uh, second half, I thought we just kind of stuck with what we wanted to do and created the chances. And you know, we're unlucky not to get one, but the soccer goes your way one time. And yeah, talk about that one, that girl. She had a wide open goal, yep. and it goes off the post. How, how frustrating is that to see? You know, it, it's a little frustrating, but at the same time, you know, we do everything right, and, you know, the ball gets maybe outside our hips a little bit, and it's just the way it goes. Um, you know, we'd like to see it go in, but it doesn't go in. You just, you know, we work in training tomorrow, so she gets it the next time. Thanks a lot, Coach. For Ayala, the goal scorer, Ali Westruff, got them on the board in the 39th minute. We talked to her after the game. So let, let me hear about how you guys, how, how that goal came about. Talk about that goal. Um, well, like we were right by their goal and the ball was, was kind of like fumbling around and then I, the ball kind of like got loose and it was to the side of the goal and I just saw it open right there and I just um, hit it to the, the corner of the goal. You know, all, all these games in the Sierra League are important, you know, and then you win tonight and now all of a sudden you guys are tied for second place. Talk about the effort that this team has made so far. Um, we've made a really good effort, like, working as a team with a new coach especially. He's, like, motivated us really well to try hard and work as a team. So now you got a big game this Friday with your rival Chino Hills. Talk about that, that game. Um, the first time we lost 2-0, so, like, I don't know, like, they're expecting to beat us again, but... I think we've really come along throughout the uh, league, so I think we can like we have a shot at taking them on again. Well, congratulations on the goal and good luck going forward. Thank you. Getting the shutout in goal for Ayala tonight was Rachel Shellen. We talked to her right after the game. What about your defense and your effort tonight? Well, it's not just the keeper. It's like the whole defense all ground together. I think we all have grown a lot this season together, and the defense just works really well together. Like it's keeping their shape and staying strong. It's not just well. You got a big game this Friday. What are your What is your defense going to have to do to shut down Ashley Gonzalez and uh, Amanda Ball? What do you guys need to do to win that game? I think we can do it as long as we just play our own game, as we work together as a team, and we stay together. And I think we have a chance. I mean. It was, it was a pretty good game last time we played them, so I'm pretty sure we can take them on this time. We've gone a long way since that game. Well, good luck. The Ayala captains, Liz Alexa, led the defense tonight for Ayala. We talked to her right after. Liz, talk about your guys' uh, effort tonight, especially defensively. You guys shut out St. Lucie's and you get the one nothing win. Um, we worked hard playing a new state formation. We played two, uh, one on the outside wing, and then we didn't have one on the other side, so we had an open space there. So we were able to push one of the outside backs up, so we had a attacking there. And then we also played, uh, tucked in more, so we had a stronger back defensively. Yeah, when you guys play Chino Hills this Friday, what do you guys need to do to shut down uh, their offense? They're, you know, they're in first place. What do you need to do? To uh, we definitely need to talk more together in the back and make sure we have a cohesive back so we can shift and make sure that we're moving together so we can shut out the outside wide so Ashley can't get crosses and Amanda can't get into the box. <laughs> you, you, know, you guys know each other so well. How much? Tell, tell people how much of a rivalry that is between Ayala and Chino uh, Well, I've known most of these girls personally since I was like 10, 11. So a lot of these girls, we've been playing together for years. So we all know all of them. So it's just team rivalry. Just want to beat the girls we know. <laughs> well, good luck. So Ayala comes away with a one nothing victory tonight. They moved their record in the Sierra League to 4-3. and three. They are tied with Claremont for second place all of a sudden. Chino Hills still leads the pack at 5-1. and one. Ayala is going to travel over to Chino Hills on Friday night. It'll be a big game between the Bulldogs and the Huskies. This is Tom Kiss reporting from Ayala High School for the Tribune Sports.